Hello everyone, Mr. Kenor here. I have my WeDo Mission Moon Nuclear Fission reactor. This is the control rod that's getting pushed into the reactor to create energy on the moon. Here's my program here. I went under ideas and I went down to the push right here. Uh, number 10 push. Sorry, it's going to be kind of bright on my screen. Otherwise, everything turns yellow. But if you go to push, uh, and build this push robot. Um, it's this, and then I modified it by adding in this control rod and then our nuclear fission reactor. Our program that we've got going on here, um, let me turn the screen brightness down. The program that we've got has us driving forward for one second and then stopping. That's inserting the control rod into the nuclear fission reactor, and then the number nine is red, so it's turning red to indicate that nuclear fission is now happening. It plays the alarm sound to let us know that, hey, uh, if you're in the area, just make sure you get out so you don't get any radiation. Holds for two seconds and then turns to green and then backs out. So it's just kind of a demonstration of um, how maybe we could have nuclear fission reactor on the moon using the WeDo set. Let me hit play and show you what happens. So there you go. Uh, some things to note, it might not always work. Sometimes this um, doesn't always go into the hole. That's just because that it's a very tight fit. And as you can see, this thing's a little wobbly here. So just make sure that before you do it, that you push everything in, um, get it as tight as possible. And sometimes it just doesn't happen. So here, let me give you one close up look at what's going on here and hopefully it will work. Not sure, but we can always try. Oh, and there you have it. We pushed it and it missed the hole probably because I was jiggling everything around. So let's try to realign everything. We kind of see if we can push it in, try to realign this. Let's try it one more time and see if it will go in. There it goes. back out. All right, our astronauts are happy. Uh, one last look at our code here just so that you can see it. And uh, hopefully you can follow those building instructions so that you can build your own lunar nuclear fission reactor. All right, good luck.